And here's the stone house, and it's dry from the glue. And I primed it to save some time. So here it is just primed in a white. I went ahead and painted the sides to kind of show you the direction we're going in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did this. I used a pewter gray. Yes, I did go with gray for the house. Um, I thought about browns, but mm, I don't know. It just it wasn't sitting right with me, so I went with gray. This is a Dollar Tree brush. It comes in a set of five different sizes. Awesome brush. Wonderful. I used that brush to paint this whole house. And not a bristle fell out. Delightful. So here I am. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on this pewter gray. And yeah, it does. It looks dark. I was a little horrified. I was like, oh no, I, I don't want it to look like a dungeon. And what I'm doing is kind of doing a dry wipe or whisk. I don't, there's a name for it. Uh, where you put it on and then you use... Just take the brush and let all the paint come off the brush because I wanted the primer to show through so that it had more than one color. Yeah, it, it, it was a little scary with the darkness of this. It does lighten as it dries. Um, I could even lighten it more if I wanted to. So here I am just, I'm doing the whole house like that. And you can see where the white from the primer is showing through. Yeah, like I said, I started putting that gray on. I, I was a little horrified. But, but it comes out okay. And I can lighten it up if I want with the dabbing effect of some lighter gray, but I'm not, you know, I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna sit on it for a while. And I'm just continuing on doing that. I actually painted this house in one day, the whole thing. So it didn't really take that much time. And I'm still painting. See on the side, how I dabbed some of the, I dabbed some other colors in because I just don't know when to stop. I don't know when enough is enough. I just never do. But paint is really easy. You can always paint over it. It's not really a permanent thing until you seal it. And even if you seal it and you change your mind, you can go ahead and paint and seal it again. See, I do plan on putting a lot of greenery and flowers and I I was thinking yesterday I might even make like an archway to go around the front door. So a lot of it's going to be covered with greenery and moss and that's the direction that my mind is working in right now. That's my vision right now. That could change. But it's not that hard to paint it. The um, dry, dry brush, that's what it is. It's dry brush. And you just uh, get all the paint off the brush. And now I'm gonna show you I, how I did like, I guess you would call it grout, but I think when they made the stone houses, they used cement. I don't know if that's the same thing, but I'm gonna use this granite gray, smaller brush from the same kit as the other brush from the Dollar Tree. Really, really good brushes. I washed those brushes out and I just used them over and over again. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, that brush is way smaller. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and go along the cracks of the egg cartons. And I'm not trying to make each one the same fineness in the line. It's just whatever comes off the brush. If I was that detailed, I think I'd probably make myself a little crazy. 
I think with the different widths of the paint lines, it makes it more whimsical. More whimsical, more Disneyland. Do you know what I mean? I don't want it to be too perfect because from stone houses that I've looked at, none of them look perfect. So I'm just gonna continue this all the way through the front, like I did on the sides. It's a little tedious, it's a little repetitious. I did take a few breaks. Watched a little YouTube. really been enjoying the um, thrift shop people that go to the thrift shop and then then show you their haul that they got some of them really know their stuff they really get most of them are resellers so here we go almost just about halfway done and already it's kind of taking on a different character just with those little grout lines I'm gonna call them grab lines. You can see from the left to the right how it just is starting to take on character. And I think that that, that granite gray is a good color for it. And in between some of these egg cartons, I had left like some of them, I had left little spaces. And here when I paint it, I'm filling in those little spaces so that you don't see the wood of the dollhouse. And we're almost done. It looks good. It looks like stone. You would think I had a lot of patience, wouldn't you? <laughs> for something like this, I do have patience. For other things, I don't have patience. <laughs> there we go. So now here, you know I couldn't leave it alone, so I had to get, um, oh, that's a t Sierra paint, and I think that's just a beige. And I'm just going to kind of mix them together. I didn't want the dark Sierra. I thought that would be a little too dark, so I'm going to kind of mix it with the beige and make a light Sierra. And what I did was, I went into one of my uh, drawers in my kitchen and I found a, a sponge and I cut it up. <laughs> so, that sponge is no longer. And I like using the sponges. Sometimes I use paper towels. But the sponges have um, a texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and just take it and randomly just kind of go around and give it like an aged look, like a weathered look. Like I said, I don't want it to look perfect. It needs to be aged. So I guess I did get a little bit of the brown color I wanted in there. And I'm just going around here and there. When I put it on the spots that were more of the primer showing, it looked really good on those spots. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Little spots like that. And I had done the sides like that too. I had already gotten there on the sides and messed with it. And here, like, I just cannot leave it alone. I'm just looking for that one more place. Where can I put it? 
Where can I dab that color? And I went back on the sides and dabbed some more. And actually while watching this, I'm almost thinking I might go back with a little of the light gray and put a little of the light gray in there. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. But I like it. See how it kind of adds that little bit of color? Now here I painted the inside of the window gray around the edge in case when I put the window pieces in they don't go flush. But they did go pretty flush and I put these in just to make it start looking like something's happening and I will probably in time weather those and make them a little weathered. Now I did make the decision to not put in the staircase. I just wanted more wall space. It's a small house. I want to hang some pictures. Yes, I could hang them on, like, on the side of the staircase. I want the whole wall. So I went ahead and put some cardboard in there. And I've got that done. And we're all done here. I might go back with a little gray. I'm not sure yet. And when we come back for part three, we're gonna put the outside away and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna make some wood floors out of popsicle sticks. This should be very interesting. I've never done that before. Come on back for part three.